Hi, and welcome back to Sarah's Music and Moyen from Luxembourg. I'm here at the beautiful Luxembourg Philharmonie, where we are celebrating the music of George Gershwin with the Orchestre Philharmonique de Luxembourg and lots of children. The Orchestre Philharmonique de Luxembourg invited me to create a concert for children featuring the music of George Gershwin. So it's the first rehearsal and this is the most nerve-wracking moment for me because I've been creating this children's concert in my head for many weeks and today at the first rehearsal is the first time I'll be able to have to see whether it's going to work or not. Maestro, Gustavo, it's so nice to be here with your orchestra and thank you for putting up with my craziness. Your orchestra here in Luxembourg do a lot of education projects and a lot for, for children. This is very important. I, you know I think this. Um, it, it's fantastic that you all do so much too. Very important for the orchestra, for the society, for the population in Luxembourg. It's not only the orchestra who is very involved doing lots of uh, education and family concerts, but also in the Philharmonie, there are many concerts also for chamber music, also with world music, with Fado, from even a few months uh, until three, and from three till six, and six on. And indeed, we on Saturday, we will have people from six until... Uh, 60, hun hundred, hundred. six even. <laughs> but I'm very happy to participate with people like you and to, to make the best we can. Also because I think kids deserve the best quality, not only in terms of music, but also music making. So I'm very happy to be part of it. George Gershwin said, uh, life is like jazz, it's best when you improvise. And I think it's the same with these children's concerts, you know? It's best when you have to have a plan, but it's also good to be able to improvise because otherwise you're lost. And we are not so used to improvise, as you know, and so uh, musicians who are classically trained, also for me, and I didn't study jazz, I didn't do jazz, this is the closest we can get not only to perform great music by Gersh Queen, but also very much fun, very enjoyable, and also to share a stage with someone like Stefano Bollani, who is a great jazz pianist. He's perfect for this yeah, sort of project. Wonderful. So for us, is to have that taste of not only quality, but of a different genre, which we are not used to. George Gershwin was an American composer and pianist who combined his love of classical music and jazz in his pieces. He was also a fantastic improviser. For me, this makes George a perfect subject for a children's concert. Stefano, thank you for coming on the program. I find it very hard as a classical musician. Why is it that we classical musicians find it so hard to improvise? It's just because you uh, probably, when you were a child, somebody told you that uh, it wasn't a good idea. If somebody told you, you shouldn't improvise, you should play this music because this music is perfect and what you are improvising is not perfect. And that's true, but that's the good part about that. Uh, the good part about improvising is exactly that we are not me. I'm not looking for perfection, I'm looking for the moment. It can be though a little bit embarrassing, I find, on my horn, if someone says, oh, just improvise on B flat or this and that. I, I find it, it's, it's just something I really don't feel I can do. Because you think, of course, you're going to judge yourself. That's the point. If you don't judge yourself, it's going to be great. Improvise on B flat. <laughs> now, I can, I, I can, yeah, exactly, <laughs> I can think, wow, that's boring, I should use some other notes. Well, that's judging. You're judging your work. 
just try and, and be an open channel. You can uh, use a scale, you can, use a, you can use a rhythm pattern, you can start with some elements, you know. That's what we do while we are improvising. I just start with an idea. Of course you need a structure. Some, so you get to build something, you get to build a bridge, and then at the same time you're walking on the bridge. So you, this, can be, this can be a good start, but it can be uh, something totally different. It can be just uh, two chords. before you want to play it or do your fingers do you think oh I'll play that uh, that's chord that's a good question it depends on your mood actually and what comes to your mind the, the main thing is just be an open channel because you don't know where it's coming from it's coming inside you but uh, not worry about making mistakes no worry because they're not they're, they, yeah. it doesn't exist the finger called mistake doesn't exist in our world unfortunately it does if you start a symphony with a wrong note we've made a mistake yes that's why we're maybe so panicked about letting ourselves go that's why those. i prefer improvising okay i'm gonna go that's mainly that. the, the main thing the main thing i prefer improvising because I'm, there's no mistake no. So when you play concertos, like, will you play in Rhapsody in Blue a different thing every night in honor yes, of George? Yes, especially in the solo parts, because he did that, so why shouldn't I? If you play a classical piece, some, do, 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 you do play classical pieces? I played, like actually, played with, with this same orchestra, I played the Ravel Concerto in G. In that case, I play note by note. Is it painful for you ask to do me, that? Ask me, exactly, it is. Well, let's hope George Gershwin will like this, and let's hope, for me, let's hope the kids will like it. Improvisieren. Was ist Improvisieren? Improvisieren ist so, wenn, wenn wir was kochen wollen und nicht die Zutaten haben, da müssen wir einfach so improvisieren. Wir nehmen das statt das und das. In Musik improvisieren, man muss schon was können. Also Stefano kann die Töne und dann improvisiert er. Stefano, you improvisieren. Yeah, you impro okay. So, Beethoven, wer kennt Beethoven? Wie heißt das? Kann jemand das spielen hier? Kennt jemand das? Ja, für Elise, genau. Okay, you know this? Improvisieren für Elise. Mal sehen, ob er das kann. Maestro, denkst du, dass man improvisieren kann als Dirigent? Er sagt natürlich. Ich glaube nicht. Maestro, zeig uns, wie du improvisierst. <lacht> oh. Oh. Maestro, no. Jasmin macht ein Glissando. Sehr gut. So, that's all from Sarah's music for today. The concert's over, but we still have time for an encore. Everyone is going to get up and dance. I hope you are too at home. See you next time on Sarah's music, and here we go.
So today's horn challenge is going to be very improvised, isn't it, Stefano? Um, you never played the horn before? I never took a horn. You never took a so horn. I think so you know which way to blow this. This, this, this way, yes. and then the sound comes out from here. It should do, if you're so, lucky. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I got rhythm. I got music. I got my man who could ask for anything more. It's a good horn, but with some problems.